Now, if you're running into a situation where your ketones just are not high enough, you're doing keto and you're just seeing traces of ketones, there's several reasons for this. Number one, it could be you just started and it takes time to adapt the mitochondria to full ketosis. So you're not gonna see very many changes until starting at three days and then over a week. But to be fully fat adapted, uh, where you're in full ketosis all the time, it's gonna take about a month. Okay, so just give it more time if you just started and you're concerned. Next point is, are you checking your urine or are you checking your blood? In the beginning, I suggest you check your urine. These are very inexpensive little strips that you can test. Uh, but realize as you become more adapted, you're going to be burning up these ketones. So in other words, less ketones are going to be wasted through the urine. So they're not going to really show up at some point. So don't be surprised if you check your urine ketones and they're very, very trace. And then of course, if you check your blood, it's a lot higher. Next point is your protein is too high. Protein can trigger insulin, which can then slow down the ability to get into ketosis. So I'm assuming your carbs are low, but let's say your protein is too high. A lot of times people think that um, a, a ketogenic diet is a high protein diet because they've, they're used to Atkins. Well, no, it's not. A good ketogenic plan is a moderate amount of protein, between three to six ounces per meal, but it could go up to seven ounces or eight ounces, especially if you're doing intermittent fasting and you're an athlete and you're just a larger person. So just realize that the more protein you do and the less fat, you're gonna run into a situation where you're not gonna be as much into ketosis. Now, there's a really great document. I just created a new plan, which I updated, which has a chart in it, uh, which you can download. I put the link down below that has um, all the proteins with the protein to fat ratios. So you can see the foods that you need to be focusing on heavier in the fat and less lean. So some examples of moderate protein and higher fat would be sausage, fatty fish, pecans, macadamia nuts, cod liver, certain stews, and sardines. Some other foods that would be very, very helpful to start getting your fat level higher to offset this protein would be olive oil, olives, fatty cheese, butter, things like that. So make sure you cook with uh, tail of beef fats or other saturated fats. Uh, definitely not the unsaturated fats, unless it's olive oil. Next point is stress. Stress acts like sugar, it activates cortisol. It can definitely keep your ketone levels at a minimum. And then lack of sleep. I've done a lot of videos on this. If you're not sleeping, you're gonna throw off your blood sugars. It's going to limit your ability to get into ketosis. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.